Hello everyone, I'm here with another one. Today we're going to take a look into the quest line of Certix Skynet, which they did launch uh, May 20, so before three days. Now Certix in general is quite of a big project. I think they started their journey 2018 or 2019, I, I don't remember, but they raised around 140 millions uh, uh, during their funding period in 2021. It was like two, three rounds. So quite of a, a big project with a lot of money. They do um, smart contract audits. They do KYC, on-chain monitoring, penetration testing, uh, bug boundaries. Uh, they focus security, Web3 security. Now they have launched their quest line and it's free to farm, which is kind of what we're looking uh, at today. But despite the fact, let me make this dark mode, but despite the fact that it's a, a free farm, you can also learn a lot about uh, Web3 space and about security in general. So on one hand, as airdrop hunters, um, we're looking at a big project which uh, has gathered a lot of money. They will deliver a lot of uh, rewards, which we can take part of. And on the other hand, especially for people uh, who are jumping now in the crypto space, this is a place where you can learn a lot about the Web3 and security in general. So as always, I'm going to leave a link in the description together with uh, all the steps which are part of this video. And I'm going to put also some answers in, in, in the description. But I highly encourage you to actually read and go through the quests, uh, not with a haste, with intention to only farm the air though, but if you're looking to learn something, you can here. Now, pretty much once you use the link, you're gonna land here, you register with uh, your uh, Gmail account. It's like two second work. And after that you start and you click on, on quests and you do the quest. You have daily tasks. If, you, if your time is very limited like mine, you can also do only the uh, the daily tasks, which are which are daily login, browse three projects. So let's do that. And by uh, browsing three projects, I'm not sure what they want to say, but let's let's see. Okay, they have their security score. Oh, it's a nice place where you can get some information about uh, like a lot of projects. It's going to be a big one and their rewards are going to be uh, decent, probably. So I encourage you to allocate a little bit of time here. Can we actually vote? Interesting, we can actually, actually vote. Um, let me see if I managed to tick one of the one of the tasks. Okay, I did tick one of them. So yeah, browsing is pretty much taking a look at, uh, at the projects and maybe voting on them. Uh, and actually we have to, the next task is vote on two projects. So we pretty much have to vote on two projects. Let, let me just vote on another one so, so we can complete one of the quests. Once you complete the quest, you come here and you claim your um, XP and your diamonds uh, or gems, excuse me. So here by completing tasks, you're gathering gems, hearts and XP. And at some point this, or should I say those gems, hearts and XP uh, are going to convert into your airdrop, your rewards. And of course, if we step outside a little bit of our hunter uh, mind, we should say that um, you can actually use uh, Certix Skynet to, to actually check on their security score. So the higher the score, the better. If you don't know the project, you might uh, consider, you may consider uh, coming here and checking their, their score. Of course, that's not something you can uh, so take your decision on, but it's it's something you can add up on during your personal due diligence investigations. So yeah, quests and how you do quests, you click start the quest, you pretty much, uh, you you I encourage you to read this. And once you end up, you will learn something and you need to take the quiz. And after you finish the quiz, you're going to gain some XP. Non-blockchain components such as websites and software applications must be secured as they can be triggered by hackers. Of course, true here. Continue the second question. What makes bug bounty programs beneficial for Web3 projects? Well, they harness community expertise to identify bugs. And you are you continue and pretty much you gain some XP and then you move to the next task. A task, uh, you start the quest. You read about it and then you take the two questions at the end. So it's it's kind of, it has the learning curve and also you have like two questions at the end. It's not like super boring with 20 questions or something. They are quick and you learn something about it. Do the quest, they are free. Claim your rewards and at some point you're going to get something in return for your time. 
or if you're war on time, just do the, the daily tasks every day. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you all with the next one.